Alright, today we're going to head back to the coin hole. The water will be starting to get cool before too long. i got to hit it hard as I can. I did make a couple changes I was going to tell you about. I did add some more weight to my weight belt so I can actually sit on bottom and hopefully dig out of that hard clay. If y'all remember, that clay is so hard I can't dig in it. I bought a couple new tools and I sharpened the end of it right there so I can hopefully get down in there and dig. I got a couple more tests, a couple more things else I can test here. I got a nice, uh, that right there, I can, hopefully I can drag in that sand and maybe grind it up a little bit. And I got this one. So we're going to test a couple, uh, we're going to test a couple different picks in there. And I'm going to bring my snooper rig this time so I can actually go down and sit on the bottom and slow the dig out because I want to try to save these coins. I don't want to damage them because there's some nice coins in there. So I'm going to try to go down there and pick them out real easy with the, uh, while I'm sitting on the bottom. So we're going to give it a try. So hang tight. We'll go head out and look at it. All right, we're back at the coin hole. And, uh, man, it's a beautiful day. And we're about three hours before low tide. And it's already getting low. So I think we'll have a really good day today. I'm, I'm hoping to come back with a lot of coins today. So anyway, and bullets, hopefully. So anyway, we're going to get started here just a little bit. i got my nephew Dave with me. All right, here, let's say hi, Dave. There's Dave right there. All right. So got a little help here. I'm going to use my snooker rig. I got it in the boat. And I hadn't hooked all, everything up yet, but we're going to use that. And I got my ah, my hoses down here to use. So we got that ready to go. Uh, but right now, we're just going to check the shoreline right now and see what we can find here. And, uh, not, we're probably a quarter mile from where the last place I got the coins, but this whole shoreline is a good, good spot. So anyway, stay tuned. We're going to check it out. All right, here's my first find of the day. And it looks like an old can. Hopefully that's not an indication of what I'm going to be hitting all day. All right, moving on. All right, it looks like I might have my first find. I haven't looked at it yet, but I see it's round. Let's clean it up and look at it here. Yeah, what is that? Oh my God, I'm not sure what that is. That doesn't look like a large scent. It's like a person standing there holding something. It's got a shield on back. I don't know what that is. It looks cool, though. We'll have to check it out when we get back. I like that. Sweet. First coin of the day. All right, just found this little dog tag. 1964. Unsexed. Okay, still no coins in the coin hole here, but that's a nice hit right there. This is where that concrete bottom is. Nothing should be very deep. Okay, I got it with my pen pointer right here. But I gotta dig, I'm digging with my hand. I do have a little, little, uh. Mm. See, that thing is just molded into the clay. I do have a pick, but I really am afraid to use it because I want to destroy a, a coin. There it is, too. Look at that. It's a coin. That's why I don't want to put put it down there. That is a large scent. Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is just beautiful. I might be able to get a date off that when I get back. How many? I have pulled so many of these out of here. It's crazy. I think we might be able to see a date on that one, too. Sweet. All right. There it is. It's a large scent. All right, only a few feet away. That sounds just like the last one. Could it be another large scent? I like it. All right, I put my foot right behind it, right there. We'll grab our pinpointer. We're doing everything by hand here. All right, it's a lot of big rocks in this area right here. I have not hit it with my metal, with my pinpointer yet. I'm gonna dig up some big old rocks by hand, like this. It's still no hit yet. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take the, melt, the detector and go over it again so I can get a exact pinpoint of it. It's right here. It's a little bit further away than where I was working here, okay? I think I got it now. Let's see. Okay, now I got now I got to hit with my pinpointer. Now it's hitting with the pinpointer. Okay, now we're digging some big rocks up. I got it in my hand. No, no, don't, no, don't. I thought I did. 
Now it's in my hand. It's in the hand. What is it? Uh-oh, what is that? Okay, I don't know what that is. It feels like lead. Too thick to be a coin. Almost like it's got a design on it though, doesn't it? I don't know what it is. All right, we'll have to check that when we get home. Anybody understand? Got a clue on that one? All right, now this one's got a low tone to it, if you notice from the last one. But in this, in this area, I got to dig it. I don't think it's a coin, but uh, we're going to see what it is. I right, immediately started getting hit with my, with my pin pointer. I got it in my hand. I don't think it's anything, but... All right, I can't see what it is, actually. It's a button. The back of a button. How about that? Very back of a button. Okay. Gave me a little different tone, but you gotta dig those two, I guess. We definitely wanna mess up any buttons. Okay, this has got a better, I like this tone better. Could be a coin. That could be a coin. Got a little bit of a funky noise to it, but. Okay. I like my mouth better underwater trying to do this, but I gotta hit with my thing. I'm just barely digging out with my hand instead of trying to scoot. I got it in my hand. Whatever it is. Oh, it's a bullet. We'll take that. It's a Civil War bullet. Sweet. I'm not sure what kind that is. Got three rings on it, but it doesn't have a, a solid on the back. It might be a sharp, so I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll take bullets. I like bullets. It's exciting to find. Every time you find a bullet, it's exciting. I love it. All right, I just dug something round. It's like it's got swirls on it. I don't think it's a coin. It's a button. I can tell that's a button. Probably a colonial button. Sweet. All right, let's keep, let's keep moving on. All right, you always check your holes twice. I got still started getting reading that same hole. I just got the button out of and look at this. It is round and it looks silver. Oh man. Oh, you know what? That is a modern quarter. I thought for sure that was gonna be silver. Oh man, I saw some copper on the side. I mean, I saw it silver. I thought for sure it was all silver. I think that's a modern quarter. Bummer! Oh man, I thought that was a hot one there. Uh, okay, here I come. I got one in my hand. Whatever it is, I don't know. Could be something good. Oh, and it looks like a coin. No, it's not a coin. It's a bu button, I think. Looks like a button. That's a button. Big button. Yep, that's an old colonial button. All right. Just dug a musket ball. First one of those I dug in here. Sweet. Nice. All right, I see something around here. Ah, it's a button. You can tell by the little piece on the back there. Old colonial button. Okay, could this be Edison's first light bulb? Could we have made a discovery? Eh, I don't think so. I think we need to keep moving on, what do y'all think? This one there. Yeah, it's a nice one. That's gonna be a coin, I think. Yeah. Who wants to think that's a coin? Who thinks that's a coin? All right, I got right here. Shouldn't be too deep. This here, like I said, it's got this, still got this clay and all in here, so nothing's really deep. Okay, it's in my hand already, that quick. I think it is anyway. There it is, it's a coin. It looks like a coin to me. Not sure what it is though. Is that a penny? Oh man, it's a penny. It's a wheat penny. I would take the wheat penny. Alright, got one something coming up here. Check it out. That's an old lock there. That's pretty cool. That is one old lock. Wow. 
That's awesome. Digger for that. You just never know what you're gonna get though, you gotta dig it all. Alright, no more coins, but we did get another Civil War bullet. It's like a sharps. And we're still digging, so we're not giving up yet. Alright, just dug a hole out, and it's in the basket. Definitely in the basket. Now let's see if we can see it first. Big rocks out. Oh man, look at that. It's a pop top. I just dug up some stuff here and I think I see it already. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a piece of copper. It's got a shape to it. Looks like a U. I found you. All right, I guess that's it. I don't know. Maybe it's a stencil. All right, just got another coin. It looks like an Indian head. I can tell by looking at it. It's an Indian head. Sweet. There it is. Indian head. Beat up pretty bad, but I can tell it's an Indian head. All right. I ain't got much time left. We're still getting to get coins. All right, I just want to show you just a little bit of the trash I have to dig to get to the good stuff. And a lot of these things here had videos attached that you didn't see and all, so I, I saved you from those. So just, just everything is not rosy when you go out there. You got to dig a lot of stuff to get the good stuff. Now here is a um, picture of most of the stuff I found. Um, just a little bit of lead, an old lock. Um, uh, the fork and all the coins. Um, you know, had the, uh, the silver quarter, and um, I'm gonna show you a couple of other more important coins in a minute. But uh, the bullets and the buttons. But the main thing of the hunt was this coin. It is a 1787 New York one cent. It's only 12 or so known to exist. So that is a very rare find and probably the most rarest coin I'll ever find. So it's awesome. I'm really psyched about that find. And we did find a couple other coins that were cool. Um, we found a uh, 1820 large cent, a 1780 something Spanish real, 
And uh, man, we just had a great time today. The snuba gear worked great. Um, it was a beautiful day, calm. Uh, man, you couldn't ask for a better day to hunt and the best finds. So I appreciate everybody coming along, and I uh, hope you come along on my next trip.